Hello everybody, Ellie Diecast. Mr. Ellie Diecast, you all I guess. And we are back. We're going to be looking at some classics today. We've got a whole bunch of them. I'll tell you the story on those in uh, just a second. But first, get my camera up here. But first, I wanted to show you some treasure hunts I got. We've got the not high enough up. Got the treasure hunt for the, I think this was the B case, right? Uh, B case Corvette. This one came and went around here. Funny story about the three treasure hunts I'll show you real quick here. I found them all on the same day from three separate places, <laughs> and I really wasn't looking. Uh, this one I almost passed up. I completely forgot about this one. B cases kind of came and went around here. So we found that one. We found a rip rod. That is the only one I have found. I had expected a lot of these to be around, mainly because we have seen a lot of C case cars out here. But that's the only one I've found so far. That's the C case. And then I found me a Treader. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when we make fun of Fangster on this show, Tread Air may be the new one we make fun of. I, I don't know what you're going to do with that one. That one will barely roll. <laughs> so, anyways, three treasure hunts. Very fun. Also, I did find a Mario Brothers. And uh, you have seen this on the show. I already have uh, one of these, and Andrew has one. So this one... This one is going in our 500th episode prize box. It is going in the prize box. That's the sound of it going in the prize box. We are also going to throw in the prize box a Future Time Machine DeLorean in hover mode. And that one is going in our prize box. And what is the prize box you ask? I will tell you, if you go back one episode from this one and check it out, it will tell you how you can enter the contest. It's free, totally free. Shipping's free. Everything's free. Anywhere in the world, it is free if you have an address. You just need to be a subscriber and you need to post below the episode that says win this, I think, prize box or giveaway box. But it's the last episode. It's the one before this one. So stop right here. Go to the last episode, leave a comment, you'll be in, and you can win everything in that prize box, plus those two cars I just showed you. So, let's move along to our classics, and I guess we'll just dive right in here. Um, classics we've looked at before, and probably anybody that has been in the collection biz for more than a month with Hot Wheels. Wait a second. This, this, of course I picked the heaviest one to start with. Ugh, I'll just hold it. Uh, anybody that's been collecting would have seen these. There was, I think, five series of these. Most of these uh, that we're going to be looking at are from series one, two, and three. And uh, they did come with some chase pieces with these. We'll have to do a episode on those someday. But these I just picked up. A kind of a random lot. And I got all these for 50 cents each because they all had stickers on the front. Here's one. Stickers on the front. And usually I would take up the cars out of the packages anyways. But I usually leave these classics in. I've got a bunch of them. They came in a bajillion colors. That is the Firebird Funny Car. Here are the other cars in Series 1. Take a look at another one here. They're metal base, metal bodies. That is the Chevy Bel Air in green. Like I said, they came in a bajillion colors. Yes, a bajillion. I don't even know how many colors all these came in. You'd have to look it up. Um, yeah, some colors harder to find. A lot of variations on the colors. So there'll be like three different greens, three different purples, that type of thing. And not all cars came in all colors, so it makes them kind of fun to collect. I got into collecting these 
That's the Corvette Stingray. That one's from Series 1, too. I got into collecting these because I collected all the variations from the 2012-2013 series of mainlines, and I really liked trying to hunt down all the cars. So that would be all the cars you'd get in that big box at the end of the year that uh, Mattel puts out. Like, everything. All the variations, all the Kmarts, all the... Toys R Us, all the wheel variations. I really enjoyed that for two years, and then I didn't enjoy it anymore, and I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> but the uh, classics were kind of the same, and they were older cars, so that made them a little bit more fun. That's a Cougar. I really like those tribal tampos on it. That's one of the pink ones. Now, sometimes the pink ones are harder to find, but... Uh, Probably just because they're pink. They probably made just as many, but I don't think that one is. I don't think any of these are hard to find. Um, Thunderbird, 57 Thunderbird with the sticker still on it. But uh, these were fun to collect because there were so many variations. Also, they have really not held their value well. Um, some have. There are some that are hard to find. But for the most part, these have not held value well. So... Uh, I have have I haven't bought any that were that cost more than what you would have paid for them in the store back in 2002 or 2003. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit here on these. That's the 68 Cougar, Cougar. limited edition. Not really. <laughs> for the most part, real cars. There were a couple fantasy cars mixed in. That is the Bonneville. I need to lower my tripod here a little bit. There we go. In blue. That is from Series 2. Let's take a look at the cars that were in Series 2. I'm getting to where I have at least one version of most of the cars. There are some that are harder to find, and of course there are some very popular cars in the series. There were five those five series over five years. 32 Ford in red. That one from series one. This is a heavy car. This is a Pontiac GTO. I'm not sure why it's so heavy. They stuffed that thing with BBs or something. Uh, that one from series two in purple. Here is the Baja Breaker in blue, another heavy one. All of these were metal on metal. There were some chase pieces with rubber tires, but for the most part the series all had plastic tires. And as far as I know, everything released in the classic series has been released in other series. I don't think there was anything only released in the classics. There's the Roadrunner. Ah, I really like that one, that 440 Tampo on the back. It's got the, what's it say there? Roadrunner. 440.6. Very cool. 63 Corvette in uh, blue. All these colors had names, and the colors were based off the original red line colors. At least most of these were. Spectra Flame colors. Corvette Stingray, that one in red. Very nice. I hope the light looks good. I uh, There's another Roadrunner. Picked up two of those. Didn't know that. There is a Dodge Charger. That is one of my favorite cars. Top 20. That one in, is that antifreeze? I don't, I don't know if that's antifreeze color or not. I think that one's called antifreeze. And there's a green. They may all look the same here. Yeah, hopefully the lighting's changed. I thought this would be a good, a good uh, test to see if it really showed off those colors. 
a little hint if you're ever doing filming from home and you're filming your Hot Wheels you need a lot of light <laughs> I'm talking a lot of wattage of light to get whites to look white without washing things out I've tried dinking with the uh, with the white settings on the camera and exposures but that just doesn't do it that one of course 65 Mustang in gold a Mustang Mach 1 it's got the Goodyear tires on it That scratch is on the package. 65 Corvette. That one in kind of a cool bronze color. Hope the light picks up that paint job on that one. Another three window 34 in purple. Pontiac GTO. This one's kind of in a beat up package. Dodge Viper. But I wanted the car. <laughs> I don't really care about the packages. I keep the uh, classics in their packages. I liked, I've always liked these packages. I thought they looked very nice. That look is very iconic for the cars, but I do not keep most of the cars in packages. We get rid of them pretty quickly. That is the Purple Passion. An actual Purple Purple Passion. There is a Chevy Bubble Top. That one still has the uh, sticker stuff on i got to clean that up. Last of the classics is this Dodge Dart. Another one. I like the uh, flame, the tribal flames on that one. And last, kind of a surprise, we've got this Legends Hall of Fame. CUDA, AAR CUDA, and I'm going to take it out of that package. Be right back. Because I want that car. <laughs> I want it out. You guys know CUDAs are one of my favorites, and I don't, I don't think it's worth much, but I don't care. I'm going to take it out. I don't care. I want my car. Just a second. All right. So let's get this guy out. Get my Dan Gurney collector card here. Legends. There's Dan Gurney. Here's what it says. You can pause it there if you want. Dan Gurney, legendary race car driver. Here, Dan, you can stay there for a second. And there is that very nice Cuda. That is cool. I want to say this same car showed up in another series, like one of those pre-pop culture series, but maybe I'm wrong. Rubber tires on this one. I think I was calling it an AA Arcuda. That's a Barracuda. Is that an AA Arcuda? I should know. I think that is. It's got the cowl on the front. I think that's an AA Arcuda. I don't know. Well, anyways, we'll call it a Barracuda for now. So, that is going to do it. For today folks remember go back one episode and look at your free prize box that you could win so all you got to do leave a comment you got to be a subscriber just leave a comment and you're in we will be we will be announcing the winner in our 500th episode so keep an eye out for that 
And until then, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.